Hello everyone, Hypershetic100 here, bringing you the next part of Events Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. Kenbei was scared by the missile silos, as well he should, because it knows neither friend nor foe, nor, nor foe. Glitch man, the enemy's here. Ha ha ha. So much for intel. I will go. But what if the enemy reaches them first? You'll be. I am the leader of this country. I shall not fail in my duty. Move out. Come by his forces to ride. So we ride with Kanbei. Yeah, this is the alternate alternative of the Blue Moon mission. Tanks. Yeah, I'm gonna get owned by those missiles that you see sitting right there in the open, uh, right there on that on that middle island. Yeah, those are gonna destroy me. <laughs> very, very. That and the fact that they actually started a lot closer to their missile silos than I do. Actually, not only that, but I just don't really think about using. Think about it. Anyway, can base forces. Oh. Units take three damage from that. Unless you're in dual strike and you have missile guard, then they only do two damage. Um. Oh yeah, Cambay's force. Cambay is a superb general with one minor drawback. His units cost more to produce than any other unit in the game. In fact, Hawks even cost less, and they pretty much have the same ability. Have the same static CO power. Don't know why I backed off. Kambe's attack and defense of all of his units are greatly increased. And his units have to be pumped. Or increased by some percentage, I'm not sure. I believe it's 10%. I don't know. So don't yell at me. This is actually the only thing I'm not sure of. These people who have price raising or price lowering in their CO ability, I have no idea how much they're raised or lowered by. So Collins ability, I have no idea how much that raises the attack or how much it is. I believe it's an even trade-off. Then again, I can't be 100% sure. Yeah, all those missiles? Yeah, I'm gonna be hit by almost all of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Just remember, you can combine units and they have more than 10 in order to create... Yeah, I think I was going for that um, battleship, which is why I didn't do anything with that one there. Like I said, all units that are within the blast radius of the Ah, 
another fudge I forgot what I was talking about. Lucky for me, he goes after that one single solitary tank all the way up there. thinking I was just running around I I do things just randomly yeah you can't join a an APC that has a unit in it with an APC that does not now I'm gonna lose that APC or no not not yet at least Unfortunately for me... I am going to get blasted. I'll win, but it's not actually that impressive. It's more of just a waiting game for me. And I don't like playing waiting games. Yes. Given enough damage, even an infantry unit can take down... Kaboom. <laughs> Kaboom. Like I said before, aesthetics of the different areas doesn't affect its usefulness. Can they boast of the strongest units in the game? However, a seal that we'll meet later, whose name is Hawk, can boast the most powerful CO power in the game. I believe Strum, the main villain of the game that you saw in the very beginning cutscene, only has one CO power. It's his super CO power, and it's called Meteor Strike. Or at least I think he only has one CO power. I don't know, I've only faced Hawk. I've only fought him once in the original dual strike. So, yeah. Once we get, like, so far into the game, I will 
to actually be doing this blind. <laughs> well, anyway, got like 20 seconds till the end. Where about now? Yeah, I was about to stop it there when I was like, oh wait, I already went through this once. <laughs> and I was really mad at myself for doing it. Okay. This is Hypershadic 100, signing off. <laughs>